Today on Selly Talks, we're gonna cover how you can effectively use social media to market your business without irritating people, without people feeling like they got thrown up on or spamming people. That's next. Spam, 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 baked beans, spam, 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 and spam. I don't want any spam. Why can't you have egg, bacon, spam, and sausage? That's got spam in it. Not as much as spam, egg, sausage, and spam. Look, could I have egg, bacon, spam, and sausage without the spam? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. that we're going to talk about how to do social marketing right. Now I can't give you guys a complete uh, training or teaching on how to do it in a five to an eight minute Selly Talks, but I can talk about some of the dysfunction that we see in network marketing and what you can do so you're drawing people in instead of repelling them, you know, and pushing them away. Now all of us, even if you're not in the home-based business arena, all of us have gotten a spam from somebody that we barely know. Uh, in many cases, we don't know the person at all. We're connected to them on social media, but we don't know them, right? We've never had a conversation, and what happens? They go to your inbox, and they drop this long, spammy company explanation with links to YouTube videos. And how many of you have ever taken the time to read one of those posts? Unless it's somebody you know, you're looking at this long thing, right? You're like, I don't know this person. Why on planet Earth would I ever want to take my precious time to read that post? And these people that are practicing this just don't get it. For some reason, I think it's like the mentality is, well, if I, if I do this to 50 people, maybe one of them will read my thing and join my business. And, you know, I think the other meta message that comes out is the person that's dropping all of that spam, the meta message that they're sending is, I don't give a crap about people. I'm not a person of integrity. And then the other message is that if, they're, if that's how they market their business, why would you want to follow them into that type of a business activity? Why would you want to do what they do? You know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And when you don't have a relationship with somebody and you just drop them a link, then it's all about you. And as long as it's all about you, nobody can get aligned with your vision because people do things for their reasons, not your reasons. Everybody on planet Earth is waking up and trying to make their way in the world and trying to make a better life for themselves and their families. And they have their own personal motivations. And if you're not sucking people in to your vision by showing them how they can get what they want, then you're repelling people. And the funny thing is, when you look at these people that are practicing this spam activity, I don't like spam! If you go to their Facebook wall, you'll see ad after ad after ad with no engagement. You know, nobody's liking their posts, nobody's commenting on their posts, and yet these people continue to do the same thing, hoping for a different result, which we all know is the definition of insanity. Did I ever tell you what the definition of Insanity is. Insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. It's like white noise on their Facebook wall. It's like, you know, have you ever like tuned into a, a channel? You're on, in your car, you know, and, and you're listening to a great channel and then you start to get out of range, and then you can still kind of hear the channel a little bit, but you're getting all the static and white noise, and the more you hear that static and white noise, the more you're like, man, I, I can't listen to this anymore, I'm done. So these people, when they start out, maybe they get a little engagement, but then everybody gets their number, right? Everybody's like, well, I know what this person's all about. All, this is the person that does all, the, all these ads on their wall. So nobody's listening. So here's a person over here, and they're going, oh, look at me, look at me. I really have this great thing, which in most cases, the opportunity they're promoting isn't a great thing because they lack the discernment to tell, but that's a whole other training. They're over here jumping up and down saying, look at me, look at me, and nobody is listening, and yet they continue to do it. It's the weirdest syndrome I've ever seen. They continue jumping from opportunity to opportunity, and then what do they do? They blame the business. Oh, that business doesn't work. Oh, that business, you know, I got into that thing, but I didn't make any money. Well, yeah, goofball. You're not making any money because you're not making it about people. 
And so there's a way to use social media to actually solve people's problems. Everyone has a problem in life, right? I don't care how rich you are, you got problems. Maybe your problems are different than average people, but you still got problems. So we've got to be solutions providers. We've got to be the people that are swooping in and saying, I'm your friend, I'm your advocate, and I can help you solve a problem. And when you become a problem solver, people start listening. People lean in, especially when you lower your voice. Whisper to me. If you want to capture someone's attention, whisper. People lean in and they care about what you have to say. But when you're out there going, hey, look at this great company, I'm gonna give you a long link, and then, and, then, and here's the other thing that I that kills me. They're, they're so involved in this practice of spamming people that if a spam drops into my inbox, uh, in, into my private chat on Facebook, and I respond to it immediately, they're even too busy spamming other people to have a conversation with me. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. You know, business is built on relationships. And if you're too busy spamming people or being dysfunctional in your business building to have a conversation, especially with me, right? I'm 15 years full-time in the industry. If I stop to talk to you, you might want to make the time. And then here's the, even the crazier thing. When I tell somebody uh, that, that I don't know, look, you spammed me, and because I don't know you, uh, I'm not going to go to that link, but I, you know, let's let's chat. I've got a free training for you, a free training for you to show you how to do this more effectively. And then they're not interested in learning how to do it right. Oh my God, people have become insano. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I just don't even get it. And so what we've got to do if we want to pull people into our vision is first of all we have to make the time to get to know them and we've got to make it about them and not us and how do you do that you ask the right questions you ask people what their where their pain is you ask people what their ho hopes and dreams are you ask people how much money they like to be making you ask people uh, if they had that kind of money what would they do with the money what you know what would they spend it on and then when people start to open up to you and they tell you about their hopes and dreams and oh man you know my wife's been working at this place full time i'd really like her to quit her job or i'd really like to buy a second a second car or you know me and my wife have been looking at this vacation home that we want but we, we need the down payment you start getting them connected to their dreams connected to their visions it's called purifying their vision because oftentimes people know in a general general way what they want but they don't know verbatim they know they want a nicer car maybe they know the model they don't know the color or they're not sure of the color they know they want to move here they, they know they want to do that but they might not uh, realize how much money they need coming in on a, on a weekly basis on a monthly basis so when you help them purify their vision then things become more clear for them and how many people know that a confused mind takes no action if you're confused about how to accomplish something you won't start why would you start taking steps if, if you're confused on what to do so when someone is really clear when their vision has been purified they know where they want to go they know how much money they need to get it now you go from advocate to problem solver because now you're like i got the solution join me in my business now there's a lot of finessing ways that you you can maneuver these these conversations and i've got a training that i'll offer you guys for free it's called social marketing mastery all you've got to do is private message me on Facebook or go to my website tomselly.me and email me from my website requesting that training and I will point you to it it's about oh I don't know maybe a 30 minute training I did and when that training is over you will understand verbatim step one step two your left hand does this your right hand does that you'll understand 100% how to be a professional problem solver and how to master social marketing and make lots of friends along the way. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm curious to know what you think. If you just leave your comments below, if you're getting value from these videos, please subscribe. And I wanna encourage you not just to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but if you go over to tomselly.me uh, forward slash subscribe, 
I've got an audio, 30 places to source leads today, absolutely free. All you gotta do is uh, opt into that content there, and I'm gonna give you so much value in that content. Uh, and this audio will help you immediately, 100% free. All you gotta do is subscribe and opt in with your email. And until next time, this is Tom Selly saying live well, love well, and God bless. Oh wait, look, look at the tattoo. Do that, live well. Cheers. <laughs>